There's really no limit to the things you can learn just by surfing the internet. But sometimes it can be hard to separate masses of useless info from some real gems. Grab a refreshment and some snacks because coming up are some more random facts that are totally worth knowing. The cookie monster doesn't actually eat cookies. There are some things you'd be better off not knowing, and this is definitely one of them. Remember the big blue furry cookie monster whose famous phrase is including, me want cookie, and me eat cookie. He's never actually eaten a cookie in his life. Put the pitchforks down for now and allow me to explain. The character was originally designed by Jim Henson in 1966 for a series of unaired snack commercials before he landed a spot on the first season of Sesame Street in 1969. The thing is, the Cookie Monster is, spoiler alert, a pretty hefty puppet. In fact, it's safe to assume that the cost of regularly cleaning or replacing him would be pretty high. Cookies, however, are notoriously messy snacks. You see where I'm going with this, right? Instead of risking getting the puppet greasy or worse, covered in chocolate, production swapped the cookies out for a cheaper, mess-free alternative, rice cakes, which were painted to look like chocolate chip cookies. It makes total sense, but it still feels like finding out the truth about Santa all over again. Cats can understand humans, they just don't care. In case you needed another reminder that cats are total jerks, here's the latest. Your cat can definitely hear you calling its name. It just doesn't care. The fact that cats care less about us than dogs is nothing new, but research has now confirmed that they really are ignoring us on purpose. For a study published in the Animal Cognition Journal in July 2013, researchers observed 20 moggies in their own homes for eight months to monitor how they recognize and respond to human voices. In the end, they concluded that when they heard their owner calling, 50 to 70% of the cats turned their heads and 30% moved their ears but only 10% actually responded by meowing, shaking their tails, or moving. Ouch, guys. According to researchers at the University of Tokyo, this is because cats basically domesticated themselves when they moved into human settlements to prey on rodents that were attracted to grain stores. In other words, your cat doesn't need you as much as you need it. An American dentist once invented a bomb that used bats. On December 7, 1941, a dentist named Lytle S. Adams was vacationing at the famed Carlsbad Caverns in New Mexico, which is home to about a million bats. That same day, Adams heard on the radio that the Japanese had attacked Pearl Harbor. Furious and apparently still enamored by his winged companions, Adams started plotting an unusual revenge plan, a bat bomb. On January 12, 1942, Adams sent his plan to the White House. What if we strapped tiny incendiary bombs to bats, which they could carry into every nook and cranny in the city? Surprisingly, the US government decided that the bat bomb seemed like a totally feasible idea, possibly because Adams happened to be friends with Eleanor Roosevelt and agreed to put it into development. Thousands of bats were equipped with tiny bombs, stuck in ice trays to cool them into hibernation for shipping, and then packed into a special canister, which would supposedly release them midair. Unfortunately, initial tests didn't go quite as planned. On one occasion, some of the bats were accidentally released early, blowing up an entire hangar. After about 30 failed demonstrations and $2 million spent, the US abandoned the idea in favor of the atomic bomb. And Adams then tried to invent a fried chicken vending machine instead. So it all worked out for the best. Lobsters don't age. Before you assume that lobsters are totally immortal creatures, you should probably know that lobsters do die naturally. They just don't age like we do. Scientists have determined that the posh crustaceans don't display a phenomenon known as senescence, which is how most living creatures show typical signs of aging. Basically, lobsters don't lower their reproductive ability, slow their metabolism, or decrease in strength as they get older, which probably results in some seriously beefed up pensioners. What's more, they have indeterminate growth, which means they don't reach a size limit in their lifetimes. In case you were wondering, the largest lobster caught on record off Nova Scotia in 1977 weighed a whopping 44 kilograms and measured three and a half feet long. That's bigger than a human toddler. Lobsters grow by molting their hard exoskeleton, and it's only when they lose the energy to do this that they become susceptible to disease and die naturally, which is pretty badass if you ask me. Who is the Columbia Pictures Lady? The draped, torch-holding Columbia Pictures Lady has graced the silver screen ever since the company was first founded in 1924. Millions of moviegoers would recognize her face, but could anyone tell you who she actually is? For decades, the true identity of this iconic staple of movie history remained a mystery. 
until New Orleans artist Michael Deus, who was commissioned to update the logo in July 1991, revealed all. Deus had planned to make a painting for the new face of Columbia and asked his friend Kathy Anderson to help him shoot some reference shots at her apartment. On a whim, Deus asked Kathy's co-worker, then 31-year-old graphic designer Jenny Joseph, to model for the shoot on her lunch break. They took several shots in the makeshift studio using a bedsheet and a desk lamp, and Deus then spent two months painting his masterpiece of Jenny. The rest, as they say, is history. Jenny Joseph hadn't modeled before she became the Columbia Pictures lady, and she never modeled again, making this one iconic mic drop moment. There's a fish that lives inside a butt. There are plenty of interesting relationships in the animal kingdom, but none are quite as strange as the rather one-sided arrangement pearlfish and sea cucumbers have going on. Tropical, shallow water-dwelling sea cucumbers are pretty bizarre creatures. These odd, cumbersome lumps spend their days sucking in sand, extracting anything nutritious out of it, and then pooping it back out again. It's no secret they aren't likely to win the title of nature's most beautiful anytime soon. They're considered so repulsive that most predators won't even go near them. That, however, is precisely why the pearlfish is so interested in getting to know the sea cucumber more. Let's say, intimately? You see, a sea cucumber breathes by taking in water through its anus. So the sneaky pearlfish will just wait around for the right moment to swim right inside. The sea cucumber acts as a perfect hidey hole for the pearlfish, as well as other sneaky creatures like crabs. Now that's gotta hurt. The current US flag was designed as part of a high school project. Everyone knows the inspiring story of upholsterer and flag maker Betsy Ross, who sewed the original 13 five-point star US flag design in 1776. So it's easy to assume flag makers just added an extra star for every new state since. However, the current 50-star US flag has far humbler beginnings. Back in 1958, the flag featured six rows of eight stars for 48 states, but rumblings that Alaska and Hawaii would soon gain statehood were already underway. That's where then 17-year-old high school student Bob Heft comes in. Heft's history teacher at the time assigned a class project to bring in something they made. So Heft made alterations to his parents' 48-star flag and triumphantly placed it on his teacher's desk. Heft's teacher was not impressed with the extra stars and graded the project a B-. However, he did say that if the design was accepted into Washington, his grade would be bumped up to an A. Heft accepted the challenge and after two years of phone calls and letters, his 50-star variation was declared the official US flag on July 4th, 1960. And it's the longest running design yet. Take that, teach. In Arkansas, it's illegal to pronounce Arkansas wrong. If you're someone whose name can be pronounced a number of different ways, you'll know just how annoying it can be when people constantly get it wrong. But making a real life law to govern the pronunciation, that might be pushing it slightly. Well, that's pretty much what happened in the state of Arkansas. That's right, according to Title I, Chapter 4, Section 104 of the Arkansas Code, there's only one right way to pronounce the state name, and that's Arkansas. Not Arkansas, sir. Arkansas. Those would both be considered illegal. According to the rule, the correct pronunciation of Arkansas with the final S being silent was made official by an act of state legislature in 1881. Although it's unclear what the punishment is for getting it wrong, if there even is one. Snails have 25,000 teeth. If I were to ask you which creature has the most teeth in the animal kingdom, what would you say? A crocodile or a great white shark, perhaps? What about a snail? Don't be too fooled though, snail's teeth are not like regular teeth, so don't expect to see a grand line with pearly whites anytime soon. These so-called teeth are actually arranged in rows along its tongue, known as radula ribbon, which they use for scraping and cutting food before it enters the esophagus. As these teeth get worn down, they're also constantly replaced. Different species of snail can have varying amounts of teeth. The common garden snail typically has around 14,000 teeth, while other species have up to 25,000. Can you imagine the dental bill? That's not even the most shocking part, because the teeth of an aquatic snail called the limpet are actually the strongest biological material known to man, even stronger than titanium. Almost 163,000 pints of Guinness are wasted in UK facial hair each year. Guinness, which had humble beginnings in Dublin, Ireland, is now one of the most popular beers in the world. 
In fact, so many people in the UK alone drink Guinness on a regular basis that scientists were once able to estimate that about 163,000 pints of the stuff gets wasted in facial hair annually. How did they reach such a figure, you ask? Hair scientist Dr. Robin Dover, who was commissioned by Guinness to do the research in the year 2000, observed that the average drinker takes 10 sips to sink a pint of which 0.56 milliliters of Guinness is trapped between fibers of the average mustache. With an estimated 92,370 drinkers with facial hair in the UK who consumed an average of 180 pints a year, that apparently worked out at a total average cost of around 423,070 pounds or around $530,000 worth of wasted beer. Around 162,719 pints are lost each year by drinkers with mustaches, which also means that if every one of the 1.8 million men in the UK with facial hair drank a pint of Guinness, the total loss in just one sitting would be 17,684 pints. That's something worth shaving for. The Leaning Tower of Pisa was never straight. Anyone visiting the Leaning Tower of Pisa is expected to pose shamelessly with the wonky landmark like it's some unwritten rule. It makes sense to assume that the tower started out like any other upright building and started slowly leaning as time passed, but what if I told you that wasn't exactly the case? Construction of the monument began in August 1173, but there was one problem. Its foundation was set on soft ground consisting of clay, sand, and shells. By the time workers reached the third floor, the tower had started to sink, and construction was placed on hold. When work was eventually restarted some 100 years later, it became clear that the tower wasn't just leaning, it was falling at a very slow rate of about two millimeters a year. In 1989, engineers were commissioned to help stabilize the leaning tower, but it's unlikely it will ever stop leaning completely. In fact, since regular measuring of the tower began in 1911, the top has leaned over five meters off center. An octopus has three hearts and nine brains. Octopuses are some of the world's strangest creatures. They're so bizarre, in fact, that they sometimes don't even seem like they're from Earth at all. The average octopus could give a Time Lord a run for his money because each one of these eight-armed ocean dwellers has three hearts. And not just because they're big romantics. While one, the systemic heart, circulates blood around the body and vital organs, the other two, known as branchial hearts, pump blood through each of their gills. When an octopus is swimming, the systemic heart actually stops beating. This exhausts the octopus, which probably explains why they prefer crawling rather than swimming, if they can help it. Hearts aren't the only thing octopuses have an abundance of, because they've got nine brains too, which probably explains why their head is so big. Believe it or not, an octopus actually only has one brain in its noggin, which controls the central nervous system while the other eight are located in their eight arms. These small brains are clusters of nerve cells that control independent movement, meaning one arm could be cracking open a shellfish while the other scours a cave for food. Now that's some serious multitasking. If you could amaze me with one piece of random trivia, what would it be? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.